ah, modern day Christians, where do we even begin with their myriad of shortcomings and contradictions? Let's embark on a journey through the tangled web of issues that seem to plague this community like a stubborn thorn in their side. First and foremost, let's address the pervasive hypocrisy that often rears its ugly head within modern day Christianity. Despite preaching messages of love, tolerance, and forgiveness, many Christians are quick to judge and condemn those who don't fit into their narrow definition of righteousness. Who needs empathy and understanding when you can have self-righteousness and condemnation instead? And speaking of judgment, let's not overlook the selective application of scripture that often occurs among modern Christians. Instead of embracing the full message of love and acceptance that Jesus preached, many cherry-pick passages to justify their own biases and prejudices. Who needs the golden rule when you can have Leviticus to condemn others for their perceived sins? But wait, there's more. Let's talk about the troubling trend of using Christianity as a weapon to further political agendas and personal beliefs. Instead of promoting unity and understanding, some Christians are more concerned with imposing their own views on others, often at the expense of marginalized communities. Who needs compassion and dialogue when you can have division and hostility? And let's not forget the alarming embrace of prosperity gospel teachings among certain segments of the Christian community. Instead of focusing on spiritual growth and serving others, some Christians are more interested in material wealth and success, believing it to be a sign of God's favor. Who needs humility and simplicity when you can have opulence and excess? But perhaps the most concerning aspect of modern-day Christianity is its failure to address pressing social issues with the urgency they deserve. Climate change, poverty, racism, sexism. These are all issues that cry out for action and justice, yet many Christians remain silent or even complicit in perpetuating systems of oppression. Who needs to be a voice for the voiceless when you can have comfortable complacency instead? In conclusion, modern-day Christianity is like a tarnished beacon of light, struggling to shine through the darkness of hypocrisy, judgment, and apathy. But there is hope yet. Hope for a Christianity that embodies the true teachings of love, compassion, and justice. It's up to each individual Christian to examine their beliefs and actions and strive to be the change they wish to see in the world.